All right, guys, um, someone asked on the uh, 3D printed, my open sprinkler uh, for a schematic. So I made, sorry, this is just a hand drawing. I'm not a schematics guy. Um, I, I could read schematics, but not uh, really make them. So if you uh, are good with making schematics and you wanna make one, uh, draw one out. It, you know, I think groups, people would probably appreciate it, but Here's my best attempt. Um, so there's a couple things on hooking up the eight, eight channel relay, two channel, whatever uh, relay to Raspberry Pi. Um, a couple things you need to uh, understand and do before you even start. First, in my video, I use a um, AC to DC converter. Uh, converts 24 volt AC comes in here convert, converts it to 5 volt DC uh, Before you hook anything up you have to set this 5 volts um, And you just adjust that you hook up your 24 volts, you know check your voltage With the voltmeter and then turn that little screw right there and adjust till, until you get 5 volts so That's uh, important step number one number two you have to remove this jumper. Um, almost all of these come with this jumper and it connects VCC and JD VCC. Um, and if you're using this with a Raspberry Pi, you need to remove that. If you're using it with um, Adreno or something like that that uses five volts uh, for both the power and for signal, um, you, could, you should be able to leave it in place. Again, that's not what this is for. This is for the Raspberry Pi. So remove that. Okay, two important steps. Do not skip. Uh, okay, so we have uh, three different voltages, um, three different voltage circuits going on here. Um, the 24 volt AC, uh, that's what the sprinkler, sorry for my little valve drawing, but that's what the sprinkler valves and controllers normally run on. Um, you have five volts, so this is a five volt, uh, all the relays you see for the most part of five volt uh, DC. Raspberry Pi uses five volts uh, DC to run everything. This, so that's this circuit. And then you have a three volt, 3.3 volt circuit. That's what the um, GPIO pins uh, on the Raspberry Pi. That's what they switch on uh, is 3.3 volts. Okay, so to hook this up, pretty easy. Um, it's, uh, I'll walk through the steps. Um, it's really easy to expand if you want to. First, again, you've already set your five volts um, through your, your um, voltage converter. Out, this is gonna be a positive and this is your negative on this specific voltage. Um, if yours is flipped, you just have to make sure your wires are correct. So you have the five volts coming out and that should go to, I drew these pins, but that should go to this first pin, which is JD-VCC. And again, that supplies five volts to the actual mechanical relays. And then you also have off that, five volts coming to your Raspberry Pi. And that's where it's gonna actually power your Raspberry Pi. You don't need to actually hook up um, your power supply as you normally would. Why it's important to set this at five volts, if you use one of these pins, it, it has no voltage regulation. So if you send 10 volts to it, you're gonna fry your, your Raspberry Pi. So um, that is why it's important to set this ahead of time. Um, I've been running mine through this. It's mine's very consistent. Um, I guess these things probably could go out and, and fry your Raspberry Pi. I use this is this is looks like a you know a three B or four B, uh, probably a four Raspberry Pi four. Um, but if you if you're looking, I use a, a Raspberry Pi W uh, zero. W um, for my sprinkler system. So they're about 10 bucks, so pretty cheap. So five volts here. The next is the negative terminal, which you hook up to this pin that's labeled ground. Um, and also this pin that's labeled ground. 
Um, there's another one here. You could hook it to any of the ground pins. Uh, same with this five volts. You could hook it to this five volts or that one. Um, it doesn't matter. So that that completes your your five volt circuit. So now you have five volts to your your relays, um, and you have five volts to your Raspberry Pi. So it will power on. Again, you hook all this up without it being plugged in. Um, next, we'll talk about this circuit here and what it does. So you take this 3.3 volts power and you come in and plug into the VCC, um, which is right here. Um, there's also the VCC here. You could plug into either one. It, it doesn't matter. They're connected. Um, then the next to complete this circuit, uh, for this specific one, I'm going to use this relay number one. You could use any of them. You take this, I think it says N1, and you... You connect that wire down to your GPIO pin, uh, whichever one you want. So in this case, I just did number 17, which is pin 11. And that completes that circuit. Um, when you switch this, uh, you just tell this uh, it's a low. So voltage will flow from, or sorry, the voltage. You have 3.3 volts here, and then it, this will go to ground. So that'll complete your circuit. Um, if you switch this to low, if I believe you should be able to hook a ground up here and switch these on high as well. So the three volts will be here when you turn it on, um, and it grounds. But again, this is the way I have it hooked up on mine. The, now is the 24 volt circuit. Um, very simple. Um, this sprinkler valve here uses 24 volts AC. Um, normally, uh, you'll see these where you'll have one wire coming in for, let's say, zone one, and you have this common wire that goes out to all of them. Sorry, losing focus here. Uh, so you have this common wire that goes out to all sprinklers. So if that's so, basically, you don't have this one wire come in. That will come in to your first relay side. And if you notice, these are connected when the relay's off. When you turn the relay on, this center switches over. So basically, when their wire switches, it connects these two. Uh, sorry, when this turns on, these two are connected, um, which completes the circuit. You have 24 volt circuit that goes through. Dang, sorry, focus again. Um, goes through here and completes the circuit, which will open your valve. So that's basic circuit on that side. This power supply also feeds, again, your, your AC to uh, DC voltage regulator. Um, so one wire goes in and the other wire. These are, of course, with AC, you could switch these. It doesn't matter um, 90, probably 90% 90 of the time. I'm not sure if it ever matters, but um, I haven't. These two wires aren't labeled, uh, so you could switch them as needed. So... That's it. That's the uh, overall circuit. Um, again, it's very easy. Uh, you could download. This will work with any, it should work with this relay for, you know, if you have a 12 volt, as long as this converter will work with 12 volt, um, you may or may not have to change. Uh, but if this is AC, DC, uh, this does have hookups. Uh, I'll try to show on the back, the V1 or sorry, yeah, V1 minus, V1 plus, uh, you could also run DC into this uh, and use it as a DC converter as well. So, um, you, you know, if this was in, let's say, a, a vehicle, you know, you could have 12-volt DC come in. Again, you can't use these terminals. You'd have to solder it in, uh, but not a problem. But then you could control the 12-volt. Uh, this converter, you could still adjust down to 5 volts, um, so you could run this in a vehicle, let's say, if you want to control things. So uh, a lot of uses, um, but this is how I hooked it up. Uh, it works very well. Uh, if you're using an Adreno, um, you know, instead of Raspberry Pi, which you, I could see using uh, for quite a few different tasks, um, like I said, you, you could keep these connected and you actually, you know, you won't need this wire and you could just put these low, uh, your pins on your Adreno low. Uh, when you want to switch it on. So hope this helps. Again, I'll try to zoom out a little bit so you see the overall schematic. Um, if it does, please let me know. Um, 
if, if you have questions, please ask them. I'm not an electrical engineer or, or uh, a big computer guy, but I understand this. I've used this for a while now and it's I've had good success. So um, if anyone has a schematic drawn up that's better than this, which wouldn't take a whole lot, uh, feel free to post it. Uh, if you hear if something I misspoke on something, please correct it so others could learn. All right. Thanks for watching.